for the encoder to finish. Ah, oh, there we go. Is this a Phil Free Friday? No. So Phil, yes, call in. Yesterday was a Phil Free Thursday. Thursday, though, and again we had almost a full house uh, uh, there. So uh, you know, it was uh, it was pretty good. Hold on a second. I got to get some things set up here so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, bum, bum, bum. And let me see here. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. And then I move that up there. These are little, little housekeeping things I have. Oh, come on. Little housekeeping things I have to do here. And we're ready to go. Okay. And start calling in. Oh, wait a minute. I got to turn on. I got to turn on Skype. Okay. And uh, call yeah. In. Uh, and you folks who are watching me right now on live stream uh, will then see the citizens panel as well and i'll roll over before i say good night you'll roll over I'll roll on over roll on over before you say good night yeah why uh, what, what happened oh i see we have to wait for a caller now that i'm in stereo i lifted up one <laughs> channel more than the other and i, I couldn't uh, tell what i was doing so anyway uh that we, was our day yeah you can get to, you can start calling now yes and this is why when we just ad lib so you while said we I wait for so people to So you said I don't call. offer anything when I Let's, come in on Friday. Wait night. a minute, hold on a second. Let me go back to. Uh, That's nice. Where where is it? Where is it? There. I got to change on the TV. I got to go back to both you and I. Okay. All right. There. Oh no no we're fine. That's me and then there's you and I. Okay. Oh Phil Meyer is calling. But yes, why? Yes Phil. Oh no he's online. He's about ready to call. Let me see here. Are we? Uh, are we on? I'm rolling over. You don't have to roll well, over wanna, necessarily. I'm about to say good night. Oh, you're about to say good night. Wait a minute. Can't start video. Why can't you start the video? This is ridiculous. Hold on a second. Skype can't connect to your He's webcam. I just heard okay, him talk. hold on a second. He's fine too. But let me. Oh, wait, I've it, got. I got to change the something here. Fake. The leaks are. Oh, here we go. Here oh, we wait, go. I, I need to change that. cameras. The leaks are real. Fortunately, oh, just, don't my don't don't read anything. Covers the wet don't spot. Re <laughs> don't read anything right now. There we go. That's okay. Scott. Can, uh, can you guys? Let me see here. Let me turn on the camera. There we go. Okay. Did you read Scott? Yes, I know, and time. people are going to be able to see that. Hey, in, Scott, that's, that's a, a great in, one. In just a second, there we go. I heard uh, the yeah, news. turn it off. Turn turn off your camera just a second so people can see it. Okay, <laughs> it's uh, Donald Trump. The the news it's is fake. Like, the leaks are real. Fortunately, my long tie covers the wet that's spot. <laughs> We've all time. been there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the left, uh, you see uh, Scott Boddicker. Show him yourself, Scott. Turn on your camera again. Sure. There we go. You see Scott Boddicker. And Scott. on the right, uh, this is this is only for the uh, for the uh, the uh, what do you call it, people? Live stream. The live stream people. You can see uh, Phil Meyer on the really? other screen. So Everybody well, else, all you're seeing is you can get in a little close. Well, here, I let me let me uh, change this. I'm running two systems at once tonight here. Amazing. There, there we go. You can come in a little closer here. There you go. And uh, yeah. I'm about to say good night. So are you gonna about to say good night? Okay, good Me night. Too. Night. Night guys. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Good night, Marjorie. Good night. Yeah. I'll yeah. try to come up with another joke for next week. I yeah. love it. I love it. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Uh anyway, and we're waiting for other people to call too, and they will, I do believe. Last night we have it up. We were one short of a full house last night. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Couple on the phone. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, here, James Lee is now calling us from Hawaii. Hold on a second. Add him to group. There we go. Uh, hello, James. How are you? Oh, hi, Mr. Bennett. Yeah, and if uh, if you're you can hear him, of course, if you're listening to us, and uh, if you're watching us on live stream, there's James Lee. How you doing? He's in Hon He's in. Uh, hi, Mr. Scott. Hi, where, Mr. Phil. Where, where in Hawaii are you again? I'm in Hilo country, Hilo. Yeah. The eastern side, nice and wet and humid today. <laughs> it, it, sticky, sticky. Is it raining too? Uh, it wasn't raining, but we had boggy weather. Your eyes are kind of watering from that uh, uh, sulfur dioxide. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, God. Gee, yeah, exactly. It's just another day in paradise, isn't it? Yeah, you, you that's right, paradise. And you, you stay indoors, that's all. You talk about and the roaches, the rats. That's right. Yeah, Termites. paradise yep. is wonderful. 
Yeah. It was uh, <laughs> 79 in Kihei today. Oh, yeah. That's that, yeah. That's, that's kind of cool, you know. Really? Although it's, it's kind of humid, you know. But uh, anytime it gets in the 70s, we're cold. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So what would you do last night, Phil? You weren't here. Actually, uh, there are two nights this week you haven't been here, and out of a week you've only been here two nights. Yeah, well, uh, your your listening public should enjoy that. Uh, although, actually, I, actually, it was a very good show without you. It was. I listened to it. It was a. Uh, if Trump was a pinata, he would have been. He would have lost all his candy because you guys were bashing Trump like it was going out of style. But you know what? Look, you know something. To, did you hear that? Did you hear that press conference? Yeah, and and he let him have it. He let him, he wait, wait, but what is it? Wait, you know what this is? Did anybody here ever hear of the? Uh, uh, I think it was the Japanese film Rashomon. Yeah, in uh, which in, in which there seen. is a murder, and now everybody goes into the courtroom. Uh, it takes place, you know, in the old samurai times and everything. Everybody goes back into the courtroom, and tells their version of the same story, and everybody's got a different version. And Phil's version of that press. Uh, conference completely different than our version well look i got a i got a uh a thing from trump today yeah survey and this is the survey they were they were talking oh, oh about god oh god uh and uh god help us it's a mainstream media accountability survey yeah all right it says do you you want me to go through some of the questions sure sure all right uh, do you believe that the mainstream media has reported unfairly on our movement? No. Well, they said yes. <laughs> how, how, wait a minute. How, excuse me. Let's take it one step at a time, Phil. How do you feel they have unfairly reported? Uh, I, I really feel that just just like there was a AP, uh, there, was, there was an AP story today. Mm -hmm. uh, Your dog disagrees with you. Well, hey, the dog oh, said. Quiet. Opinion, no opinion uh but you know there's an AP story today that uh -huh. was false news that they they didn't vet uh because they're so quick to want to jump on trump and do anything they can do to discredit him and and to uh, label what he's doing as uh as uh, fanatical or uh and anything else that they could do that's negative and uh well, I'll just give you the second question. Do you trust MSNBC? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, uh, I, let's go back to that for a second, okay? Right. Let's go back to that for just a second. All right. Um, it, it, how do you feel that it's necessarily misrepresenting him? I mean, let's say, uh, uh, how are they how are they changing things up? I don't I don't see it. You know, well, if you watched his press conference mm -hmm. yesterday, yeah, which Rob played, uh, you would see that he treated some reporters very differently than the way he treated other reporters that were reporting false news. And I believe that the media... Wait a minute, wait a minute, no, wait, but wait a minute. Don't you understand that the, the term false news is a term that Trump made up to smear the press? That in fact, CNN, wait a minute, took a poll to see if the accusations of fake news have damaged their brand. Okay, and they wanted to know this, this was a marketing thing. And they found that it hadn't hurt their brand one bit. Because they're playing to their own audience. Their audience wants to believe the damaging and negative things. Are you throwing up, Rob? Is that what you're doing over there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm swallowing it. Uh, so I don't have <laughs> my studio. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't let it dribble. Oh, hey. <laughs> hi, Mark. Hey, hey. Alex. Yeah. Wow. It, it, really, 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 Phil. You know, you're incorrigible. You're just fucking incorrigible. Hey, that's the way we feel about you guys. Uh, Who's we? Me, uh, Who's we? You know, there are intelligent Republicans. Don't throw them in with your lot. They certainly are. That's the way Trump supporters feel about you guys. Uh, uh, how's this one? Do you trust MSNBC to fairly report on Trump? And, of course, I said no. Do you trust CNN? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me answer. MSNBC, uh, I think more fairly than any of the others, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Because they are a business, 
and they do care about having their business and having it be an important business, uh, I, I, I'm thinking, no. I think MSNBC is far more in the middle. CNN has become adversarial because they've been put in that position by Trump. Right. Okay. I mean, Trump has, has made that his jihad, as it were. And, and uh, uh, by the way, I want to say hello to Jason, and I want to say hello to Josh. Uh, we're waiting for Josh's picture to pump in here. but um, You got eight pretty quickly. Yeah, I got eight pretty quickly. There all, that's how annoyed they are with you. Yeah, I love it. Uh, uh, yeah, I bet you do. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. So, and CNN, I think he created a adversary there. Yeah. You know, so. Well, uh, you're, although, uh, I am refuting your, uh, survey because, uh, of, that was done by CNN and worried about their brand because who's going to answer those things? The people that support CNN and don't like what Trump is doing. Well, but, you, but, but wait a minute. Let what, me what ask you this. They, let me well, ask you this question. Before right. you jump in, Rob, who's going to who who gets this survey that he's sending out? Uh, I do, and people like me. Yes. Okay. So what? CNN how do you how do you how do you survey. think this survey is going to turn out? And he's going to say a survey said, right? Blah blah blah. Well, but it's a survey, survey that went to course. Trump supporters. But he's, a of people he's interested in making hat, sure. Wait a minute, Rob. Not losing the base. Rob. Survey of people who bought those hats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, so, I, let me ask you something, Phil. What will it take? What kind of catastrophe? What kind of what? What can we of of information when you got the NSA afraid to talk to the White House for fear of stuff being leaked to the Russians? What will it take before you <clears throat> before you realize that that this guy is is a clown? Well, what uh, you see, that's the kind of thing that uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, there was there was a big cleaning of the swamp today. Uh, they got rid of uh, a whole bunch of people in the uh, was it in the NSA? Yeah. Oh, oh that's in, in, great. In the, those are the people who are protecting us. <laughs> yeah. Those are the people who are leaking information and are and are uh, being uh, 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 adversaries. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Just because you're an adversary or you don't agree with Trump doesn't mean that you should lose your job over that. That's disagreeing with your boss. There are uh, there is a program. How that, they don't know that those are the people that are leaking stuff. They yeah, don't know that let, at all. They have no proof of it. And there is no there is no judge. Let me finish. There's well, no judge, jury, and executioner on this deal. The guy, people should have a day in court, or they should have a day in front of a group of people, like an HR group who decide on this kind of thing, but not just because he thinks that they've been out to get him. He just, you know, this is this is a dictatorship he's running. They found that there is an encrypted... This is a dictatorship. Okay, you listen to the facts instead of just... I've listened to the facts. I heard, them, I heard that idiot dribble out his facts last well, night, and it was disgusting. Listen to the events, the facts of the events. Now, what this situation is, is there there is a program that okay. you can put on a phone right. that you can send messages, and the message dissolves, and there's no trace of it. Three people in, in that department have that uh, program installed. Yeah, well, yeah and, 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 and I would say if I remember the NSA, that's probably a very powerful tool in keeping things confidential. Well, because they're not using it on... Uh, the no, government. You, you don't know that. A private you, you, but the point is that someone in the NSA would. And if Hillary would have used that on her private server, she would be president right now. Uh, Podesta, <laughs> Podesta didn't even know how to do a password. Yeah. Okay. Password. Well, uh, there are a lot of other people on the panel tonight, so let's give them all a chance. Uh, hello, Josh. How are you this evening? I'm good. How are you? Yeah. Who, how, when he asked about MSNBC and he asked about CNN and about their fairness to Trump, where would you place them in reliability and in, in their fairness? By the way, we now very fast have a full house. Who's calling? Who just called? Hello. Hello. Hello, Bob. Hello. Yes, Bob. Bob from Burleson. Oh, hi, Bob. Okay, good. We have a full house now. Uh, so we can't take any more callers for the time being. 
let me see. Let me see here. Uh, so anyway, let's get back to Josh. MSNBC, CNN. Do you think my assessment of them was about pretty good? Yeah, I think all the major networks, uh, cable and non-cable. Listen, I think they're reputable. I don't buy into this notion that they, they just make things up. I don't believe in a vast left or right wing conspiracy to take over the world. I mean, he does what he does, and they report on it. The people make up their mind. You know, you know I mean, what, what, what's the big deal? I mean, why is it everyone who's losing always blames everybody, and it's this or it's that or it's this or it's that? You know, I mean, come on. I mean, he's doing some unconventional things. They're reporting on it. Uh, I mean, I think everybody knows. I've been as critical of the Democratic Party as probably anybody who calls your show, and that mm -hmm. would probably include Phil. I mean, I call him the way I see him. I yeah. mean, you know, what has CNN said that's not, I mean, fair? I mean, they they have said, you know, he did this, he did, he did the things. It's right there on camera. I mean, if you don't like their interpretation, okay, that's fine, but I mean, it's that's it's it's reporting it's journalism it's the way it is yeah yeah and, and but don't you feel that trump is using this term he's created this term fake news to try and discredit them and 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 give them well, some kind of a name there's, so there's that no somebody doubt. somebody like phil who's an acolyte and doesn't have much of a brain when it comes to politics suddenly chimes in with oh and the fake news people and alternative facts i mean you took the talk <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, phil you took the talk you took the talking points and ran with them you all do you all do. This is this is a pinata, and you are smacking it as hard as you he can. He isn't a pinata. He is simply an empty vessel. Well, that's which is, another one of these uh, new speak words that you guys are. Well, what about. more is fake news? What more is tr to, I, uh, crooked what Hillary? Is the one I heard to, in that press conference right? was the failing New York Times. He yeah, every time calls it the failing New York Times. Hey, I still very interesting. Still, the alt right is a Trump thing, you know. Yeah. That that he never came out until you know he was running, and his people, his supporters, are calling themselves the alt right. Yeah, well, uh, a lot of them seem to be openly yeah, racist too. Yeah, if you well, it, what's happened is is the people have hopped onto that word and and turned it into uh, something. It that, turned it into what it should be, Nazi. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. It's newspeak for Nazi. Yeah, with yeah. their alternative facts. What are alternative facts? It's the facts you get on CNN. Yeah, the alternative facts are the ones that make no sense whatsoever. Like uh, when they show uh, like empty last spaces. night when he There's said, I, "I love this, Rob." When you played it, uh, that uh, uh, well, no, those stories are real. Those stories are real. Uh, but it, except when they're on CNN and places like that, then they're fake news. <laughs> Well, how, how do you go from real to fake news just simply because of the person reporting it? Uh, because they have an agenda. I don't and, think uh, CNN. They're, they're I don't think. I, I don't think CNN ever had an agenda, but they do now. They've been. Oh, they, well, they, they had did kind of when they were asking them about the the uh, pissing, you know, the golden showers. Uh, yeah, and even know. CBS has an agenda. Uh, you know that. Uh, so if all these people have an agenda, I guess Fox is the only truth around, right? Well, yeah, that 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 was one of the questions that they asked. Uh huh. But, uh, here, what is the what is the what what is that question they asked? On Fox, uh, which television source do you primarily get your news from? And uh, well, uh, this is the interesting question. You know, beyond you know, where do you watch? What do you look at? It says, on which issues does the mainstream media do the worst job of representing Republicans? Select as many of that as apply. Immigration economics, pro-life values, religion, individual liberty, conservatism. Why, why is pro-life suddenly, why is that a prejudice, isn't that a prejudicial question when you say pro-life values? Well, like pro-life is a value now, necessarily? Where the mainstream media does the worst job. Uh, I, you know, the whole question is loaded, but uh, uh, foreign policy and Second Amendment rights, those were the categories. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. James, I'm, James, I, James has his hand up. I'm gonna excuse me, gentlemen. I'm gonna bow out because I gotta put my doggies in. I gotta do some sane things. I just missed some of Don Rumsfeld's famous qu quips, you know, about the unanswerable questions and that sort of thing. After hearing Mr. Trump, 
You, anyway, aloha from Hawaii. Aloha. We've got a great signal oh, yes. coming in from the mainland continental U.S. So all you gentlemen, uh, Mr. Mark, Mr. Josh, Mr. Jason, Mr. Rob, Mr. Scott, Mr. Tony, Mr. Phil, and uh, Mr. Mr. Bennett. Yeah. Have a great evening and a great weekend. And, and don't forget we'll Mr. Softy, okay? who makes some of the best cones around. Anyway, thank you, James. <laughs> Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye -bye. Okay. Let's uh, let's get rid of Good him. Good afternoon. Yeah. Hey, Phil, who do you think has the biggest agenda of all of them? Mr. Trump. Uh, yeah, because he's leading He's leading the country in the direction that he was elected to do, and, and he's giving, uh, he is doing what he said he was going to do. You're exactly right. But what he's doing is against what most Americans want to see happen. And uh, when the media reports it, the only way he can thwart it is to say all of it against him is lies and to fire people around him who disagree but rob he said he was going to clean the clean the swamp and and he's doing it you know getting rid of those that aren't going to uh stand uh, you know at attention for uh what he's trying to do he's got an agenda he's pushing his agenda forward he's he has his own swamp majority. you know no, I, I, you know he uh, the, oh. when he drained the swamp he just simply took all the things that were left at the bottom of the uh, of the of the lake and or the swamp and made them in, put them in his cabinet. He well, you, you know what he said about those NSA people that they got rid of? Yeah. He said that they are in idle jobs. They weren't doing anything. And, how do we know? Uh, how do we know? Them. How do we know? <laughs> well, that's what he said. Well, how does he know? How does he know? He, he hasn't been. Wait a minute. He hasn't been president long enough to to find out what the NSA is all about and who's working and who isn't working. Well, how do you know that? Because you know, it, I couldn't do it that fast. Well, you're not as good as Trump. Oh, anyway. He knows as well as he knew how to defend that reporter last night who asked him a question about how he knew certain facts. I can't remember what the exact fact was, but all he kept saying was, well, I don't know. I was given those numbers. Yeah, well, well that, 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 was, that was bad. Must have uh, been from the NSA. <laughs> Yeah, that was the yeah. uh, okay. that was the um, uh, the um, electoral college numbers. That's okay. Correct. Okay, Phil. Time for you to be quiet for a while. Jason, anything you want to say about this? No, I'm just going along. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing right now. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch the press conference, by the way? No, I did not. Oh. Uh, I decided to watch it today. I, I decided that the one part of my diet uh, on news. Uh, is I'm still not going to watch the networks or the or the cable news networks, but I am going to watch things like press conferences and uh, uh, hearings and things like that, which I don't have to have interpreted for me. In other words, I can watch it and then I can make up my own mind, you know. And they're not going to gin up the situation or anything like that. Uh, that's the safe distance you can keep. Yes, well, what, Josh? I would just say, I mean. What's wrong with that? I mean, for all the complaining that goes on about the media by the left and by the right, you know, and like by Phil, I mean, who who cares? I mean, people should do what you're saying. They should take the time to educate themselves and decide. I mean, listen, at any time you want, any time anyone in Congress speaks or anyone uh, in the executive branch uh, speaks, the president in particular. Mm -hmm. Listen, you can go right to C-SPAN. You can watch it for yourself. No one's going to give you any kind of commentary whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Every cable uh, system in the United States has that included um, with all basic cable packages because the cable companies pay for it. It's on the Internet. I mean, in this day and age, why is everybody you know, you know, you, uh, looking for guidance anyway? If you just, want to see what's happening in the in the Congress, just watch C-SPAN. They don't comment on right, anything. I, I mean, it's right there. I mean, but so, I, think, I mean, you know, especially with Trump, that? that's something you might have to worry about is he might start putting, you know, clamps down on the media and what they are allowed to say. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to he's trying to literally muzzle the media. He's trying to do it by intimidation at this point, not by legislation. But he's trying to stifle them from doing their job by discrediting them and by making anything they say about him ro automatically wrong. Yes, uh, yes, Tony. You know what? You know what I was going to ask you guys. Uh, like, I, if one of the reporters there last night, I was thinking of a question I would have. I would have asked Trump. Let's say the leak didn't come out. Would Trump have fired Flynn if we didn't find out about it? Nope. Nope. So then what does that say about him inside? That's right. I, I can't How wait can till we find else? out that he was That's the one who told him to talk to the Russians. 
But what does that tell us about our government? I would have asked him that. Uh, hey, you better watch no, it, Tony. You can't tax. Well, that, you know, I, I would, I would also say that that's probably where our news people are remiss. I mean, the reason I'm not watching the news is I don't like the way they gin up the news in order to get ratings, uh, and then they bring on uh, 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 these these pundits. Uh, who all have their the same answers to the same questions over and over again. I don't need any of that, but I do need the basic information. Today, Trump appointed so-and-so to such-and-such, or uh, so-and-so uh, just uh, passed a bill, blah, 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 doing blah, 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 but not any kind of interpretation of the news. And I think what people can do with the vast amount of stuff that's available to them, C-SPAN is a very good example, is to watch these things and then make up your own mind. Gather you the information. Don't have it force-fed to you like Phil gets it. And uh, uh, come up with your own opinion about things. Most Americans don't want any part of that. It takes too long and it's boring. Well, I'm sorry. That's the price of fucking democracy, assholes. <laughs> but that's Question 18. Huh? Question 18. Do you believe that the media uses slurs rather than facts to attack? Well, what do you call crooked Hillary? What do you call the failing New York Times? What do you facts. what do you call what, what do you call what do you call uh, I, I, I any call any numbers of, no, any question. numbers of names that he constantly calls people? How Lying dare he head. even ask that question, the motherfucking cocksucker? Uh I yes, I called the president of the United media. States a motherfucking cocksucker, and you nobody's going to stop. Well, maybe he will stop me. Hey, uh, if, I, I'm I tomorrow, if I'm not here tomorrow, if I'm not here tomorrow, tell your children. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, do you believe that the media purposely tries to divide Republicans against each other in order to help elect Democrats? No. 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 Who's the media owned by, Phil? It's owned. It's owned by uh, the Wrigleys and uh, the, the Wrigleys you know, don't own anything. Maybe they. Don't, own, they I don't own, think they own any any uh, news media. Yeah. yeah uh, no, they never did. No, they own the uh, Catalina Island. Well, but that's not a news media. Well, that's close enough. Uh, no, uh, oh boy. Hey, no, wait, you know, wait, wait a minute. Hold media? on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I want to ask you. I, I think the media is owned by uh, guys uh, uh, like. Uh, uh, let's let's uh, see who oh, who owns what. Okay. okay. Uh, is uh, is uh, is CNN still Time Warner? Yes. No, it's no. still Time Warner. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily a liberal company. Not necessarily right. a, 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 a conservative country company. Well, do uh, the Lutzes still own Time? No, they've been dead for years. All right. Just like Frederick Douglass. Oh, is he Does dead? He no, well, no, but he's doing a great job, according yeah, to Trump. Yeah. Uh, Mark, you know, you've been very quiet here. <laughs> you, you know, I'm keeping quiet because the mantra of what Harlan Ellison said, Yeah, you're, I'm entitled to my informed opinion. <laughs> and, <laughs> and educated opinion, you know. It's yeah. like, get, you know, try to get the facts before you open your mouth, in other words. Yeah. Yeah. You know, here we, we have a president who has made part of his career knowing how to manipulate the media. Yeah. Okay, which which is unbelievable. And this past week, I've been up in uh, Ocala, and I've done something I've never done before in years. I actually watch television news in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. And but, but, I'm watching but, CBS. Hold on a second, uh, Mark. Just keep that thought. Who just called in? I just need to know a name. Tim Albright. Hi, Tim. Okay, good. Okay, Mark, continue. Yeah. And, you know, being that I'm working overnight, so I wake up in the evening, so I watch the news. So when I saw the, that the press conference, I, I'm thinking, wow, Ross Thomas must be spinning in his grave because I don't think he could have written anything as outrageous as this. And... Um, you know, I'm really questioning. It's like, really? <laughs> you know, I'm watching this, and it's like, it's the proverbial car wreck. Yeah. I'm watching, you know, it's like, the not getting a good feeling from this at all. Right. Well, I haven't, and I'm very critical, as you know, of politics and the news media, especially, because it's it's one of the few things I actually liked and what I aspired to wanting to do at one time in my war, in my life. Mm -hmm. 
and it's it, it, it's one hell of an implosion. It is definitely. Uh, Jason, you had your hand up. I was just gonna say, you know, with being as vindictive as Trump is, I feel, you know, like the company I work for is actually trying to buy CNN. You know, and now he has this hatred, which you know they've you're, been trying to buy AT, them. You're AT and T, right? Yeah. Yeah. So AT and T is trying to buy Time Warner, really? and you know, which is CNN is part of Time Warner, and is you know Trump has had this hatred sold off. I'm yeah. sorry. I thought CNN was being sold no, off separately. No, uh, it's a no. it's a group package. Wow. You know they're they're part of Time Warner, so they're buying want to buy Time Warner. So they sold they but, sold off all their cable. Uh, yeah, to the, Spectrum. the actual cable they sold the uh, charter or something like that. Yeah, but you know, so you know now I have a I have this fear that Trump is going to come after AT and T because AT and T wants to buy Time Warner. You know, and AT and T wanted to buy Time Warner before Trump even had an issue with CNN. But Trump knows that CNN is owned by Time Warner, and AT and T wants to buy Time Warner. So, in the long run, Trump might go after AT and T. You know, and it, those, you know, that's the kind of person he is. You know, it's, it's just it's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, yes, Rob. So, has anybody talked about the latest news today regarding China, and mm -hmm. Donald Trump? Uh, I, I, I didn't hear it. Well, no. time. time for the past 10 years, Donald Trump has been trying to buy the rights to his name. He doesn't have exclusive rights to his name in China. A Chinese businessman owns them. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> he has been in court with them and lost any number of times to try to get this. In November, the Chinese decided they were going to give him his trademark. This is worth billions of dollars. So now there's all these ethics being raised about what is China going to want from the president of the United States in return? Oh, he's the <laughs> nuclear codes. <laughs> yeah. the tariffs, the don't, they don't they even don't, have to give them the story? nuclear codes, just some hints. Have you read that story, Phil? No. no. Oh, well, that's that a bit. sounds like fake news point. to me. That's fake news. You could, that's no, a true thing. I can't even believe it doesn't know his own name. So now you got to wonder... What is China going to want from the president of the United States? For the president to keep on attacking Mexico mm. and not China? A sudden, after 10 years of trying, he could not get the rights to his name in China. Now he's You mean in China? China. Could, could, it be that his, could it be that his, his recognition of the one China may have had something to do with it? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that's... Pretty pr a quid pro quo. What, what do you mean? What, 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 how's a quid pro quo? You know, hey, I, I'll recognize one China. You give me my name. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. You know, oh, you don't, and you don't think that's possible? I think that's why I called Taiwan. I think the whole thing up. You better enjoy a Trump presidency while you can, because it's going to be short lived. Yeah. And it's all about making money. Just you know, he saw what Putin did, and he wants to do the same thing. It's called a kleptocracy, right? Yeah. They, they finagle it to get everything in their name. You know where his children are at right now? The White House. Oh, where? Dubai to open a golf course in the UAE. And the Yemen raid, raid was on behalf of UAE. Oh. They wanted, because they're right next door to Yemen, and they want Hutus or whoever they're fighting, the rebels, taken care of. Yeah, the United Arab Emirates. And I just saw an article about the air, the airport in Melbourne, in Melbourne, where he's going to have tomorrow's conference. Mm -hmm. That was they repaired a lot of airplanes there. Right now, there's Russian airplanes sitting outside the hangar from some Russian airplane that went bankrupt. The question is, is is Air Force One going to be parked next to Russian airliners? Hmm. Probably they usually get their own spot, don't they? You know, the, no other traffic comes in or out, or at least in the states. Well, these are these are uh, these are not working air, air, airplanes. Oh. The, the company went bankrupt, just left them there because they couldn't pay to have them repaired. Yeah. Well, maybe Boeing will take them, refurbish them, and sell them on the used market. Yeah. We, we lost. Uh, by the way, we just lost uh, uh, Josh. I hope he calls back. He was having some, I think, some connection yeah. problems, bandwidth problems. So just. Call us back, Josh. We will fend off anybody else trying to call for a little while so you can get back in because uh, you're so smart. 
Um, I just, I, I, I just now Tony's having problems. What? No, no, he's not. no, no he's cameras, fine. cameras, whirling I see around. I'm fine. Here. Really, no, he's, I'm, yeah. he's whirling around here. Your camera. There you go. Right. Now, there you go, Tony. Um, Your camera's right. whirling around at my house. Whose camera? Yours. Yours Mine. Yep. yep. But it, hey, no. everybody else's, uh, you can't I see. see you no, I see you fine. I've never, oh. I've never lost anybody. But hey, Alex, did you? Were you doing something different on the Facebook Live? Because I only saw you. Uh, yeah, no. The, it, here's what happens with Facebook Live. I use a, a, a program uh, which um, it's called OSX. I think I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, hold on a second. I'll tell you the name of it. It's not bad. OBS. Uh, and it uh, allows me to do a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of graphics, uh, put the person on who's talking at that moment, uh, put all the panel up, all of that. But when I do it, it's too much work. It, I, it, it takes me away from moderating the show, okay? With live stream, this program is so nothing that I just put the, the whole panel up and me and we're in business. Meanwhile, on the, on the Facebook thing, I'm using the OBS, but... I'm just uh, I'm I'm not doing uh, the picture of the of the citizens panel. It's just basically me, so you can see me talking. Uh, but it's it's if you want to see the citizen panel, go over to live stream. You know? I heard you say that your numbers really shot up on uh, because of the, 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 you just had your video on there and people were able to watch you. Uh, you know, just like uh, we Rob and I said the other night. They don't. They don't want to watch us. They want to see you. Well, you know? that's 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 really sick. I mean, if we thought <laughs> if we thought the us. American public made a big mistake with Trump, boy, they're making a big mistake with that one. Yeah. You know. But I know I'm just another pretty face. <laughs> um, you know. Um, but that's the reason why we did. In case people want to know, we're available to you in several flavors right now. We're available on Facebook with just the, basically the audio only with a picture of me talking, okay? Uh, and uh, in the beginning, you could have seen Girlfriend and so on, and we did that, the thing with her at that point. And then uh, uh, if you want to see j the video of the panel with me, uh, and it'll be posted later, so, you know, you can do it later if you want to. You go to livestream.com and uh, look up GabNet, or look up uh, Alex Bennett, and it will take you to the to the to the site where you can see the video. If you want to just hear the audio that we're doing, of course, you can also go to gabnet.net. That's another place we could do it. Um, I could port it out to other places, but it, it it's, I, I'm having some questions in my mind about it. So, but you know, it's available in a lot of different places, folks. So. You know, you can you get it, it, like my listenership tonight on just the stream is is quite low because people are watching on all these other different platforms. So I thought you were taking Cialis for that low stream problem. Uh, no, I uh, my no that yeah right. I'm the one that's doing that. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, uh, it's for the all night pee. Uh, do you believe that the media creates false feuds within our party in order to make us seem divided? No, no. Uh, do you believe that the mainstream media has been eager to jump to conclusions about rumored stories? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do Ladies. you believe that if the Republicans were obstructing Obama like Democrats were doing to the President Trump, the mainstream media would attack Republicans? They've only been doing it for three weeks, four what weeks. What was the Come first on. thing that the Republicans did when Obama was inaugurated? Uh, they got together and said we're gonna uh, we're gonna challenge this guy. Uh, challenge. They, they said they're gonna stop him at all cost. To me, that is treasonous. Well, it was good. And they did. They 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 freaking stifled that guy so yeah. bad to not let him do anything over the course of his terms. You know, yeah. it, it was ridiculous. Well, I did say, the survey. Welcome back, Josh. These are the these are the facts that I was given. <laughs> uh, These are my alternative facts. Now remember, uh, the, this survey is going out to his own people, yeah, so it's it's not going. It, it, he's gonna it's gonna come out in, in a certain way, and it's gonna be massive. Okay, everybody's gonna agree as the fake news, blah 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 blah. And then he's gonna get out there and say, "We took we have a poll here that says he won't even say what the poll is." 
Okay. Well, he just sent it today, and people are responding. Uh, here, here, try this one. Do you agree with the president's decision to break with tradition by giving lesser-known reporters and bloggers a chance to ask the White House press secretary questions? I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but if they defer to them constantly uh, above and beyond the normal press, I would argue that, you know, that's wrong. And are they going to let Gabnet in? Absolutely. But yeah, is Gabnet going to be allowed to call in? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, call I, him a cocksucking hey, motherfucker. You, you should be able to Skype in with your citizen panel. Yeah, and I should be able to call him on national television a cocksucking motherfucking cocksucker blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, do you agree with uh, President Why is that Trump? I can only come up with cocksucking motherfucker? That's all I can come up with. It's because all you got is okay. fake news. Okay, Trump is a cunt. <laughs> Uh, try question 24. Do you agree with President Trump's media strategy to cut through the media's noise and deliver our message no, straight no, to the public? No, 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 no. It's, it's intimidating, intimidating, and it, it's, it's being done to silence the media rather than to try and enhance it. Well, and let me, let me ask you this, Phil. Mm -hmm. what, didn't the media get Trump elected Shouldn't he be yes. kissing their fucking ass? It's because he manipulated them. Oh, but wait the a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back to that word. What was that word? He manipulated. Manipulated? Manipulated? Oh, so he's a manipulator. Well, yeah, people can manipulate for positive outcomes. Oh, God. That's a nice way of he's a lie. God, if I could punch my Skype right now, I'd do it. <laughs> well, hey, Renee does it all the time. Uh, uh, do you believe that, uh, and this is the last question, do you believe that our party should spend more time and resources holding the mainstream media accountable? Yeah, my party, the Democratic Party. Yeah, I think, well, look, it, look, is, look, 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 there's no, there's no question in my mind that a lot of people are dissatisfied with the media, me included, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm disappointed in them, not because they didn't go after Trump or not because they went after Trump, but because of the way they gin up the news to get ratings. If there wasn't money in it, you know, Rob brought this up last night, there was a time when the um, networks, the news operations were looked upon as a lost leader, you know, and, and they were not looked upon as a profit center for the networks. And when that was true, news was a lot more reliable than it is today. But when you've got a CNN or an MSNBC or a Fox and they're all butting their heads to get, uh, get ratings uh, and, and sell time and to make a profit, uh, you're going to have them doing anything they can to manipulate their audience and gin up the topics. That and social media are ginning up society. Well, social media has a, has a bigger problem. Social media has no vetting whatsoever. Right. And so, therefore, they can say anything they want to, and Donald Trump's going to read it and think it's true. I pulled a modified Rob with social media. I, I don't have it on my phone. I can go, when I go home, it's on my iPad, and I'll, I'll look at the feed, and I'll see if anybody's requested a contact or something. But uh, I am much more relaxed and much happier not having it and looking at it too often on my phone. Well, you certainly day. bugged me enough with messaging me pictures and, uh, uh, and, oh, and that, that was that, that last thing I sent you, uh, I got from Jan Hutchins. I didn't even it, read it. Oh, it was very cute. It, it was about, uh, the different newspapers around the country and, uh, and how, uh, the, uh, how it reflects on the people that read them. Uh, and was, what, what was the one you sent about the uh, the gangs on the trains or whatever who meet up for their oh, meeting? Oh, that's a great movie. That was a that, that, that was movie a, is horrible. That, no, that wasn't the movie you saw. That was just a a, a clip. It was no. The I, I've I've seen parts of that movie and I can't even watch the whole thing. It's so oh, horrible. Nineteen seventy nine Warriors. Yeah, it's older than me. <laughs> but the that, funny that, thing is, I was watching the Simpsons episode tonight and I had to watch it because it was a uh, you know a play on that movie. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was the 38th anniversary of the Warriors uh, the, the movie the other day, and uh, yeah, I sent I sent you that. Uh, but that that is a uh, that movie uh, uh, very similar to uh, the one I saw the other night, the uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. They're they're uh, cult. Another films. horrible movie. <laughs> but then again, you liked uh, what was it? Uh, Mad Max 
Thunder Road or whatever that uh, was, uh, the original not, ones. Not Thunder Dome. I like the original. No, uh, Thunder. Uh, Mad Mad. No, Thunder you don't like the original the Mad one. Max because you haven't even seen the original Mad Max. Yeah, it was the uh, one where uh, they were looking for fuel. And, uh, and yeah, so yeah. No, that, that was not the original. That was, that was not the original. Tell, really? tell, tell them, Mark. That was Road Warrior. Yeah, Road Warrior. That, yeah. No, oh, the oh. first one. The first one was an, an amazing film because it was done with very little budget, yeah. and you just didn't know about Australia doing these kind of films. But wasn't that him and his? Uh, it was and nice the first picture was called Mad Max. A lot with his girlfriend, and she gets killed. Or yes, something. That's, the that's the one. Yeah. His wife, that's I think, horrible. gets killed. No, it's not. It, it, oh my that, God! That <laughs> the taste of movies Max, back huh? in that time is. Well, you know wow. something? Why you might it, think it was terrible? Good. You it, might have seen a dubbed version. There were two versions. Was when they first came out, they felt felt the uh, the uh, accents were too thick, yeah. and so they uh, dubbed the film. Even hey, actually, even Gibson is buy, dubbed. What? Any, any copy that you buy now has the original Australian yeah. soundtrack, Alex. Yeah, but I'm saying that for a long time, the only one you could get was the one that was dubbed. So you might have seen that, and no, you know, I, I, it was. I mean, I admit I like Road Warrior better than I like Mad Max. But see, I guess maybe it's a generational thing because Beyond the Thunderdome, mm -hmm. I thought was a good movie. I, I thought, thought it, it sucked. It was horrible. I thought it was horrible. Yeah, it was you awful. Know, hey Phil, yeah. If you want to see a good movie, a documentary that the Warriors got taken off of a little bit, Rubble Kings on Netflix. It's about the. Uh, about a street gang in the Bronx, uh, I forgot the, the Ghetto Brothers. One of the guys who gets killed, they actually had a meeting. They showed in the documentary. They actually had a meeting in the Bronx after one of the guys, they were trying to play peacemakers. One of the guys got killed trying to break Can up gangs from fighting. Can you dig it? Can oh, you dig it? Can you dig it? Yeah. By the way, I'm watching a very interesting uh, series on Netflix, and I can't remember the name of it because it's got a very weird name, and it's in, uh, it's in two languages. It's in Palestinian and in Israeli, hmm. and it it it's about it's about an Israeli commando group going in to try and find somebody and winding up killing. The groom at a, at a at a Palestinian wedding, and uh, it. But what it shows, what's strange about it, and I've only gotten through two episodes, is that it's the first time, and it's made by I think the Israelis. Uh, it's the first time I've ever seen the Israelis being portrayed as the bad guys, uh, and the and the Palestinians as kind of the victims. And I believe the the show. In fact, I know the show because I'm looking at the credits. Names like Moishi and, you know, Moishi Bernstein or whatever. What's it called? I can't remember now. Oh. It's got some, for, it means chaos in, in what, in ever, I think in, uh, maybe in Palestinian. But it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a, produced by I Israelis and written by Israelis, but it seems to be very balanced about, you know, I mean, the terror in this particular case is coming from Israel. It's a very, very interesting series. I mean, I haven't. I've only watched two episodes, so that's all I can say about it right now. But I'm going to get to the rest. Have you seen one called Stranger Things? Yes, it's on, terrible. Is any not yeah. terrible? terrible? Okay, yeah. Somebody oh. recommended it today for, uh, to me. Yeah. Well, I, three wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mark. Did you disagree with me? I liked it a lot. Did I you really? It. I just thought it was a poor man's ET. Hey, well, it's kind of like a, a mix up of it, right? What, what did you think, Mark? I liked it a lot. I mean, it, it had it, it had all the right things. It was it was such a love letter to certain movies in the eighties. It was a love letter to Spielberg. Well, among well, not necessarily, but well, the kids were characters like Stand by Me. I thought he took that from Stand by Me and the Goonie and the Goonies. Yeah, Goonies, yeah. You know, um, like I said, it it it, it was. I thought it was. I, it kept me. In, it kept me coming back for every episode. Well, I watched every episode. I, I agree with you on that, but I was going, where's this going? Where's this going? And when it was over with, I went, you mean I went on that whole trip for that? <laughs> you know, that I, I, I felt I felt let down. Well, I played Dungeons & Dragons, so I kind of like, like the idea where you mix the game into it with the monster. 
you know, the, the, the you know the world flipped over. I kind of liked it because, yeah. like Mark was saying, I like how he took all the elements of the other movies. You might like it, Phil. I mean, I, I you know, don't listen to me. I, you know, I have very weird. Uh, other than faith. your politics, you, you're you're pretty right on when it comes to movies and stuff. <laughs> you didn't get into Colony, Alex? <laughs> no, I tried. I, I did like two episodes, three Man, episodes, I, and I just I thought that was a really good. Series. I'll tell you the series that I'm. Yeah, I can't believe that my, it was a, my, it's on USA. Well, I thought the, it was the verdict original. is still out with me on this one, but so far it's strange enough that I, I'm sticking with it and I like it. And it's called Legion. Oh, it's a new Marvel show, and you know what I'm talking about, Mark, because it's based on uh, one of the X-Men, right? Oh boy, huh? Yeah, that that raised an eyebrow. It's like really they're doing this. You know, yeah. it's like then hearing that they're going to be doing the Inhumans. I'm like. Oh, black ball. What? You know. Well, the, um, it, it, yeah. Where was this stuff 30 years ago, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, it was it was it was at Marvel and one of their shittier comics according to most people and uh you know what they've done is they've gone back to almost everything that was on the floor, left on the floor at Marvel and like Guardians of the Galaxy, they turned into one of the biggest pictures of the year. You know. Um and all How do you of, think Agents of Shield is turning out now? I don't. Now I think it's kind of mediocre. Hey, Alex, I uh, see. I thought they kind of took a dive for the first, like yeah. the second season, kind of sucked. But then I thought it really came back the last couple of seasons. You know, I, this season, I don't know. I'm just having a hard time sticking with it. But Legion is. Uh, it's a, the guy who thinks he's schizophrenic, and it turns out he's not schizophrenic. He's a superhuman. Yeah. Uh, right, see, it. it's supposed to be here, right? And, and it, but it's beautifully done, and it's done by the guy who does Fargo. For uh, FX, uh, Noah Hawley, and it's I think it's 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 very interesting. I don't know if it's good or bad. I'll let you know when it's when I've got. I should get you into reading the X-ray Oh, code. you know what's interesting? Here's an interesting one for you. Anybody here watch uh, American Horror Story? No. Yeah, I read that article. Huh? <laughs> I read I read that. Did out. you read about next year? Yeah, election. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, they're going to do American Horror Story, and it's going to be about the 2016 election. <laughs> That's great. I want to see how that turns out. Uh, I'm looking forward to another season of Sense8. Uh, it's uh, coming up. It was okay. Month. It was okay. It wasn't. Yeah. Well, it, it, it took me in. You know, it took a couple of episodes. But uh, uh, Let me look this up. Maybe I can find out what this thing is on... Uh, a Netflix. Israeli Palestinian thing. Huh? Yeah. Israeli Palestinian yeah. thing. It it's very interesting. I'd like to have somebody else watch it and get their take on it. Let me see here. Come on, Netflix. Come up. What am I waiting for here? Has anybody seen any of the comedy um Okay, it's called Fauda. F A U D A. That's a that's a name that rolls off the top of your yeah, tongue. It means chaos, I think in Palestinian. Has oh, anybody Oda. watched any of the comedy special that CNN has been producing? Oh, I didn't see it. Uh, McGraw, Ryan, uh, I watched the first episode. I haven't seen the second episode yet. What would you think? Um, I, I thought it was good, but here's what really bothered me, because the first episode was about dirty comics, right? Okay. And um, they kept bleeping all the dirty comics. It's CNN. Well, wait it's a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. My feeling is, if you're... If don't do it if you can't do it and leave the words in because what you're doing is you're doing the very thing that these comedians complained about in the first place you're gutting their act by bleeping out the words yeah and so why even do an episode on that if you're not going to let people hear the words and hear what maybe was offensive or not offensive um, I found it I found it terrible they shouldn't have done that and that turned me off to the series a lot. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I, let's see here. I didn't see Bill Hicks in there. Bill Hicks was a real cutting edge comic that way. Uh, and I, it was just, I, I don't know. I, I want to see the rest of the series though. It's interesting though, that maybe 75% of all the people being interviewed on the show have all been on my radio show. Maybe more than that. Maybe I'll say 85%. Okay. You know, um, so it was, you know. In fact, one of them was, uh, what's her name? I can't remember her name now. And I looked at her and went, boy, she got fat. You know, uh, Elaine Boozler. Oh, she got fat. She's like, she's like a tent now. Wow. wow. I mean, if Elaine's listening, I'm sorry, but I never liked your act anyway. So, yeah. Mm. Are you still there, Scott? 
Yeah, I'm here. Oh, because we just have your slide up. We don't have your picture. Oh, my camera girl? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know this. Uh, yeah, I, I, maybe you went away and turned it off or something. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, uh, but I um, but it's you know I'm I'm going to keep watching the series obviously because it's part of what was part of my what we could call it my my cash cow I I don't know what to call it anyway um, so um, camera's gone really yeah oh there's yeah, so there's only ten huh I don't yeah. know what happened. Well, well, I'll, I'll just it's check because it out. I'll, I'll just it, no, it's, no, no. We have a full house. I think is the reason why, and it could have knocked your camera off. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure if somebody like Tony turned off his camera, all of a sudden your camera would go on. It, it, it's it's fine. I, I, I'm just listening anyway, so I'll just go away in case somebody else wants to come well, up. Well, we appreciate everything you do for us, Scott. I really <laughs> and I really mean <laughs> that because some nights if it weren't for you, there wouldn't be anybody here. Great Scott. Great Scott. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we still have Rob Alfano. We still have Jason. We still have Tony. We still have Tim. We still have Phil Meyer. We still have Mark. We still have Josh Wheeler. And uh, Tom, is it uh, 817 area code? Hello? No, that would be Bob. Bob. Excuse Hello. me, Bob. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, is it? Bob in Burleston. Uh, Bob in Burleston. If you call, you've called Where, before, haven't you? Where's Burleston? I is called you once. Wait a minute. I called. I called you when I was in Merrick, Long Island. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Where, where is Burlington? Uh, it's south of Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. So you've moved to Texas. I thought you had like a camera. And, I thought you had a camera and everything. Is this legally blind, well, Bob? Well, can I talk uh, to him, Phil? No, this is not legal. Uh, no, no. I'm legally uh, blind when no. I take the glasses off. No, this is the. No, it, this is the. This is a situation of where I am sitting on top of a hill to hit a tower so I can have this conversation with you. Oh, I see. On okay. A 10 acre farm. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Like green acres. Well, you're there deep in the heart of Texas, huh? Yeah. Yes, I am. So, you know, I proposed this question last night, and I will propose it again because it's an interesting one. Uh, Josh disagreed with me last night on this. Uh, but are we all? F no, it was Patrick that disagreed with me. I say we're all fucked. I I say we're in a boat to hell, and I don't think I'm overstating the case. It's looking grimmer by the day. I I believed that Trump would get into office, and he'd be. You know, we had such lowered expectations that he would be better than we expected him to be, and the fact was, have our expectations been? Uh, we were they were lowered, right? And has he lived up to those lowered expectations? Hell no. It's getting worse. It's I'm, worse. I'm not impressed. Well, I'm, I wasn't impressed by his. What you women? He women. Hold, hold on a second. I'm looking to, to see the temperature in hell. Okay, go <laughs> ahead, Phil. Uh, yes, yesterday's conference. Or I think it was yesterday. Uh, uh, you know when he. Uh, it's time that he gets off of, uh, you know, who won, how many, how many votes he won. He's the president. It, it, he's got, he's got to, he's got to stop that crap. It, oh it's God, getting, it's getting old. What else well, about the press conference? Like what else about the press conference did you he's know? Awesome. Uh, well, there was, there was a number of things like the, the anti-Semitism thing, the, uh, uh, there was there was a couple of questions, you know. Uh, this is a good question. This is a bad question. Uh, you know, it, it, it's time to get past that. I, I really hope he does. Uh, I, I'm not going to let uh, his faux pas and his personality dissuade me from the things that he's doing mm -hmm. that I like. Uh, they certainly, they, you know, the things that he's doing certainly outweigh those other things, but. You know, it's just be a bigger person already. Well, there's something, there was something that I noticed. Oh, by the way, folks, uh, I was looking at the video. I may stop the video because I can't, I can't stand the way I look on video sometimes. I, I was at, at sideways, and it looked like I had gained all the weight back. Well, you know, because uh, I'm, we, I'm wearing this, I'm wearing a, 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 a sweater, and it's kind of just flopping over me. When, when did you realize you looked like Jackie Coogan? Uh, believe me, a long time ago, about the time Jackie Coogan realized he looked like Jackie Coogan. You mean Uncle Fester? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what? As I said last night, what day did he wake up and go, "What the fuck happened to me?" 
Yeah. It, there, there's some good news for Trump now with the late with the gun control change. He can buy a gun now. Oh, really? Uh, well, in Washington? Well, here's the thing. Here's the well, thing. I know. No, they they they're they're going to let mentally ill people buy guns. Yeah, this is what I this is what I snooze. This is what I heard. What I what I took out of the thing yesterday was Trump was sitting around saying all the things he had done in what four weeks, and uh, number one, uh, I don't believe half of them. Okay, they he was he all he, he feels he has to do is constantly justify himself rather than get the job done. He he hasn't he he hasn't had time to get all those things done. Did you? He's did, a narcissist. Oh, a supreme. You know. Well, hey, Phil, you think it's false news that they were going back and letting you know people who were supposed to be mentally ill and not get guns now they can get guns? Yes. How is that? No, that's can you true. Explain? They, they had. They had the senators on talking about it. So, yeah. so I guess it is true, Phil. No, it's time to go to Snopes. Uh, I think it's listen, go to Snopes. Uh, go to uh, go to uh, what is it? Uh, what's the Truth Meter? What's the name of that place again? Uh, CNN. No. Oh, they're real. <laughs> no, where they? Fox. Uh, no, Fox. no. What's 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 the site, Def, Rob? Where you, they have the Truth Meter? Oh, uh, Snopes. No, not Snopes. Oh, it was Snopes. Politico. The politic no, not politico. Fact check. Fact check. Uh, fact check's always very good about this. They're always very honest about it, you know. And they, but they, they say that Trump may be the worst violator of telling the truth of just anybody they've been taking tabs on because he constantly is lying about stuff. You could even say instead of the word lie, you could say brag, because he's a bragger. Yeah. Everything that he says, he's the best. He's the best. He's the healthiest president to ever hold the office. Yeah. He's everything he does is the best and he's the best and that's a bragger. And he seems to be consumed with ratings. Right. Yeah. You know? Trump, Trump, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry we don't run this country by ratings. He he's, yeah, he mentioned that Fox and Friends is the highest rated morning show, right? That's why their ratings are so good. They tell the truth. They don't get half the, uh, even an inch of the ratings that uh, the Today Show gets, or Good Morning America. All right. You you want the Snopes well, thing? Well, uh, is, is, is he basing that on the 14 years guns. he was with The Apprentice? What'd you say? Was his he, ratings. Is he basing wait, 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 that hold. on the 14 years? Yeah, his rating. Basing that on the 14 years he was with The Apprentice. The only time his ratings were any good on The Apprentice was the first season that it went on, and then from there on in it went downhill. Uh, the ratings have never been very good in the last couple of years, and in fact, the last season of The Apprentice was kept on the shelf for a good year before they ever aired it, because they had so little faith well, what, in it. Well, but what about the his history with with uh, Roy Cohen? And Joe McCarthy. Well, now you're changing okay. the subject. That's that. Uh, well, he didn't have anything to do with Joe McCarthy. Roy Cohn did, but no, he, but, but, but Trump. But he learned. He, he learned. He learned at the Cohen. he learned at the feet of Roy Cohn. How to deny, deny, deny. Uh, he he, okay. he learned at the feet of Roy Cohn, a man who may be the most evil human being I've ever looked in the eye and met. I mean, he, he was go. pure. He was pure evil personified. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, if you watch Angels in America, the play is all about Cone and how he vilified gays for the longest time and then finally wound up dying of AIDS as a groveling little asshole, you know. But Yeah, but, but he was, but, but Donald Trump was an apprentice of Roy Cohen. Roy Cohen was his lawyer yes, in New York. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we know that, what and the, he what was. Better, and, what better scumbag to learn and from? And he was the he was okay. he was the legal, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? The legal uh, eagle for uh, uh, for for Who's Joe Ma lawyer? Joe McCarthy, but Joe McCarthy. But uh, yeah. uh, let me remind you of something. There was another aide de camp of Joe McCarthy's that was on the same panel with Joe McCarthy, and sat on the other side of Roy Cohn. But they were both defending and and facilitating uh, uh, McCarthy, and his name was Robert Kennedy. Oh, Bobby Kennedy! Mm -hmm. Bobby I'm Kennedy. aware of that. Huh? Yeah. Okay, but you wait a minute. You weren't aware of that, Tim. You weren't aware of that. 
No, but what about Charles Harder, though? No, no, no. Let's get back to Bobby Kennedy. There was a little weasel for you. You know, well, yeah, he's, he wasn't perfect. No, he wasn't perfect. This is a guy who sat to the left of Joe, well, to the, to the right of Joe McCarthy, if you watch the hearings. And he was one of the lawyers, and he was in there. He and Cohn were battling for power, oddly enough. And uh, he, didn't do, oh, yeah. he didn't do too well. Cohn won that fight. Uh, but, uh, you know, he was, he was a McCarthy guy. So was Joe. Joe Kennedy was a McCarthy guy. He backed. Joe uh, McCarthy financially, uh -huh. you know. So everybody's a bad guy here, you know. There are no good guys. Am I? Uh, uh, do you know about this, Josh? About uh, about Bobby Kennedy and McCarthy? Yeah, I'm aware that they had a, a acquaintance through that situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I agree. I mean, I'm not uh, I'm not going to run Robert Kennedy down, but I would agree he he was. Uh, not as favorable, in my opinion, as history has looked upon him. Yes. Yeah. Due to circumstance. Yeah. So, you so know, Phil, I mean, you did find the Snopes thing. Yeah. Uh, let me let me uh, address that uh, that statement about the, what the about claim what? is. Congress passed a law that makes yeah. it legal for mentally impaired people to purchase a gun. Uh, the false part is. The repeal does not change any actual firearms regulations. There have been and still are laws in the books that prohibit the sale of guns to some groups of people based on mental illness. Yes. What's true is that Congress passed a law repealing the measure that was originally intended to make it easier to prohibit the sale of firearms to mentally defective by requiring Social Security Administration to provide disability benefit information to the National Instant Criminal Background Check. So this uh, repeal uh, of, of the law on February 15th, it was a Senate-backed joint resolution uh, and uh, that was also passed by the House of Representatives, and it blocked an Obama administration uh, law uh, it basically is a mixture of, uh, of true and false. It, it, so they did basically re if you're repeal, on... They repealed the law, but it did not change any actual firearms regulations, and there still are and have been laws on the okay. books. Okay, all right, all right. But, so all right, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold, schizophrenic. Hold, hold on a second. Hey, J Jason, wait a minute. Hold on, everybody. Phil, when was that Snopes thing uh, uh, time-stamped? Uh, 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 let me see. Because uh, this may be an old Snopes. No, I, well, I, no, it's, it's just what happened the other day. February 15th, uh, 2017. What, what, what day? So February 15th. Okay, okay, so that's recent. Okay, I just wanted to know. But So if somebody is collecting disability, Social Security disability because they're schizophrenic yes. and they want to go out and get a gun before to do the instant background check, they had access to Social Security to say, hey, they're on disability because they're schizophrenic, and now they don't have access to that. Right. They're not going to be able to identify the people now. Well, not, so not, now, you know, not, schizophrenic not, can be normal at times. Well, I, I worked for the Social Security Administration for 34 years, and we have what we call people that are incompetent or incapable, and they have to have somebody be their fiduciary. I think that's the list. These are people that can't handle their own money. Not, uh -huh. not just because... Well, that's me. Those are severely <laughs> mentally handicapped and that they, they're schizophrenic enough that they can't... They, could, they would basically be homeless. If, and, and I used to deal with these people all the time. Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of mentally ill, they couldn't get anybody to help them because they had scared everybody away because bipolars, you just can't deal with them. But a lot of the traits I dealt with dealing with these people, I see it in Trump. Some of the personality traits. Mm -hmm. it's, and it, it reminds me of Nixon because I, I looked at Nixon as a young kid and realized we can't reelect this guy. It's scary. Well, he's, he, 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 I'd welcome him back in a second now. <laughs> <laughs> well, but uh, let me see. I'll give you, uh, I, I follow a lot of people uh, in the historical field on yeah. Twitter, for example. And, mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you a quote here that says, the press is the enemy, the establishment is the enemy, and the professors are the enemy. Uh, so, was that Stalin or? Uh... Uh, that was Richard Nixon on tape in 1972 to Henry Kissinger in the Oval Office. Yeah. 
Well, they were nabobs and negativity. Hey, look, they were his enemy. The press wanted to crucify Nixon, and they were after him. He even said, you, you know, the last time when he, uh, the time before that he resigned, he says, you're not going to have uh, Dick Nixon to kick yeah, around. Yeah, but you anymore. see, the thing is that you're, you're asking yourself, you know, you may as well have a sign on your back that says, kick me, when you act like Nixon did or you act like Trump is. You, you, you know, you're not making friends. I mean, it's, when you're calling them fake news, how do you think they're going to react? And, and aren't they justified in reacting that way? And no. not only that, it was proven to be true. The guy was a crook. Who, Nixon? Yeah. The oh, guy was said he wasn't a crook. He was a crook. So, so all of this craziness the, that, that the media so-called was the enemy, sort of like what Trump is saying, is everybody pointing out that this man just does not act as a sane, normal person. That's, he's acting as an everyman. You know, if you looked at that's him, that's not in every man. That's not most men. Uh oh, well, no, he's, he's, he's acting. He's acting. as a godfather. Yeah, he's like random. Uh, he's running. I don't know, but <laughs> I, I don't like the way he's acting, and I don't like the way he's dealing with uh, the media and others. I think that he needs to, um, uh, and I know he's capable of I acting in a fashion. Yeah, I think but he is. I don't this know if he is him. capable, Phil. This is him. That's it. He's a man yeah. who has been sheltered his whole life. He was given a million bucks to start a business, and he's worked for himself his whole life. He's never had to take an order. He's never had to take no for an answer on anything. This man has no ability to react. Uh, well, I think more than that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think uh, more than that, Rob, he has no ability to lead. I mean, when you are uh, the, the president of the United States, you're an employee, but you also have to learn leadership qualities, which I don't think he's ever had. He's never had to have That's leadership abilities. No, he's, he's had to have organizational abilities, but not leadership abilities. Well, it, no, there's organizational problems going on right now, and I, I'm wondering whether those organizational problems, like he can't find an NSA guy or a department, I think Department well, of Labor. He also right? can't find his ass with his hands well, either, but, you know, we're not holding but that against him. like a fine, well-oiled machine. Look, look, you guys are still sure. bashing the piñata. Talk about the facts. The, fact the fact is he hasn't done yeah. shit in four weeks, and he's Wait taking credit for stuff he never did. Uh, he, he's having problems populating uh, his, uh, his administration. And why is that? Uh, well, I'm not sure if it's that there are issues over delegation because, uh, for instance, this guy Kellogg, there was a uh, there was a rear admiral or a vice admiral that he was going to appoint to the NSA, and I don't think the guy's going to take it. And he said he wasn't going to take it, but they included his name anyway in the in the fray. And the reason that he wasn't going to take the position was that he wasn't going to be allowed to choose uh, his own staff. And I, I don't know why uh, that's the fact or that happened. Uh, and if someone's micromanaging uh, uh, these uh, these other departments and he's not necessarily delegating, uh, I don't know where that's coming from. I can't blame Trump at the moment, but it seems to be uh, uh, present in his administration. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know why. So the Wall Street Journal said that Harward and Petraeus we're not going to be allowed to decide on their staff. And Petraeus wanted, uh, went in an outline and an ironclad way of, of developing policy that would be stuck to, you would stick, stick to these rules. And he couldn't be sure of that. So Petraeus is out too now. So well, it, what uh, are the rules that Petraeus is going to follow? Don't give le or don't leak information to Russian sex well, no, partners? Where, where, yeah, but seriously, where is this coming from? Is it coming from Trump or is it coming from some other... Uh, person in the administration that they can't, uh, you know, the staff issue that you just referred to. I don't know. Is it Pence or Bannon? I don't know who's running things, but I don't believe Pence didn't know about Flynn either. That that floors me. No, I, I Pence just said that. Pence said Pence wasn't told, but Pence said that he was told contrary information, incorrect information, and that's why uh, Flynn was fired. I don't think Trump can keep a secret. Well, I you know that his aides can't. <laughs> yeah. So I think Pence knew about it, but they had to preserve Pence or he goes down with the ship. Uh, I think uh, they're afraid that there's, there's something they're going to dig up on Trump 
and he's eventually going to be impeached. I Absolutely. think they're really afraid Trump, of that. Trump has said that he didn't believe that uh, Flynn did anything wrong, and that at the point that he lied to, or supposedly lied to uh, uh, Pence, was uh, uh, where he could not trust him and decided to let him go. Yeah, but that uh, means Trump lied to Pence, too, because he didn't tell Pence what was going on. Well, Trump didn't feel, according to him, he didn't feel that the what Pence, uh, what uh, Flynn did, uh, rated uh, anything other than to ignore it, and that the media was just jumping. Let on me ask something. you this, Phil, because uh, you know, I mean, you, you we know what your answer to everything is going to be, but I don't know what your answer is going to be to this one. Do you feel that the Russians did anything to jury rig this election? I'm sure, yes, they helped. Okay, and why do you think they helped? Why do you think they went after Hillary, but they didn't go after Trump? And they had stuff on Trump. We know they had stuff on Trump. Hillary was vulnerable, and uh, that's the information they got. They were able to... Uh, Supposedly, were able Trump had a lot of very vulnerable things in his dossier, but they didn't release that. Why did they try to screw uh, Hillary's campaign, but not Trump's? Uh I don't know. Maybe it's because of uh, Hillary's previous dealings with the Russians. Well, it could be she would be tougher on them. Uh, it also could be that because he would throw this country into what it's turning into, the, all of this turmoil, when we, we can't have our eyes on the ball when all of this is going on. But this we is, should be this talking is about what Russia's doing, right? And that's the thing that Russia is doing around the world right now. You look at RT. All RT is is showing, you know, uh, mass protests in every country and then try to, you know, gin up every little problem that's going on in every country. And maybe that's their way of trying to, hey, let's let's get every country that we want to go after to get them to, you know, almost destroy themselves so then we can just swoop you in mean, and be R the hero. RT, the Tom that's Hartman, the Ed Schultz network? That's what they do. You know, they're, they're, that's what the Russians do. Uh, the Russians are not our friends. So they're pretty and good at playing their game so right why, now. So why why is, is part of their game. why is Trump Should making like why is Trump making nice nice? Uh, because they say you you keep your friends close and you keep your friends close. Okay, now outside of quoting the Godfather, do you can you come up with some other reason that makes logical <laughs> sense? Yes, yeah, Mark. Because Mark, Mark, Mark has I his hand. I don't know if it's an answer, but again, the old Adam, follow the money. So yeah. Follow the money. Does Trump have any holdings in Russia? No, he doesn't. I bet you, maybe through a shell. I bet you he. I bet you there is. Yeah, but uh, I there, think there, also I, Trump we, has we, seen how Putin has made money, and he's just playing the same game that Putin played. I think Trump is a real patriot, and what he wants to no, do is. No, I think Trump is. You want my opinion? Trump Before he ran for office, Trump was on the edge of bankruptcy. I think he was on the edge of losing it all. And this was his way of getting himself into a position of strength where he could make back the money and make much more than that because he's taking a lesson from Putin. I, I saw all of his assets and what was owed against those assets uh, uh, that uh, but, was published uh, in Forbes. Yeah. And the, he owns Mar-a-Lago straight out, 100%. He owns so much of that property yeah, but it, without debt. What it, is Mar-a-Lago? It's a country club. Okay, so... It, it's a country club that probably most of America never heard of before until just now. Well, it's uh, it's a big, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. You know, I'm not a country So it, it can't be that big, you know, so it might be a big real estate he thing in one some, area. He bought some major mansion down there and uh, converted it to a country club. Small fries. You know, he's probably still not as, you know, as rich as Dan Gilbert. All, all I'm saying is, I will bet you that when he's finished being president, he's going to be worth much more than he is now. Most likely. And how's he going to be worth much more than he but, is now no, if he it, isn't using the presidency to make him money? No, because he'll increase uh, the economy through his uh, through his programs, through cutting taxes, and he is going to make a robust economy, which will help all of us. What if this economy starts to fall apart because of what he's doing? Are you going to come back here and tell me you were wrong? Uh, I, I, you know, you know don't, uh, I don't, I don't even look, look at things. things. What is it? What what is is the, 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 we got an echo going, going on here. Hold on. Is it going away? Okay. Yeah. It's gone away. Uh, you know, I I don't want to look at doom and gloom. I look at the at, at the path towards winning, 
not but at the path towards losing. He wants to bring the jobs back towards to America, but he wants to put people into the Secretary of Labor who doesn't believe in minimum wage. Well, the Secretary so, of Labor is out. Yeah, you know, okay, but still, look who he appointed or wanted. Look, look who, he, who he appointed to the head of the EPA, somebody, somebody who wants to end the EPA. Wait a minute, hold on a second. They were getting some kind of slap back that's massive, okay? All right, we're fine now. I think. Bringing jobs back is a ruse because of automation. You, you, they're not going to be here. The plant that he saved is going to be automated. With well, you years. know, he, he talked in this press conference about jobs that he is creating right now as we speak. And there was 1,000 right. here, and there was about 2,000 somewhere else. Yeah, 3,000 jobs is really going to add to the coffers of Americans. Hey, if he's got shovel-ready jobs, you can build a wall. You know, hey, when, you, when you bring these jobs back into <clears throat> poor neighborhoods like in Detroit or something like that, where you can pay them minimum wage, which he doesn't believe in minimum wage, and they can still qualify for food stamps and welfare, what kind of work is that? I, I don't believe in minimum wage either because I believe that the minimum wage is, is not what we want in this country. We want jobs that will uh, uh, bring people up. So way you, wait, a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But if you don't have a minimum, you don't have some kind of a standard that somebody can pay more than. Well, the if you, I'm telling you right now, you do away with minimum wage yeah. and you're going to have the greediest motherfuckers in the world trying to get away for two dollars an hour. He's right. Yeah, exactly. Once, once you start generating jobs, you have competition. Oh, that's that, bullshit. That's yeah. bullshit. But, but I've seen it. It's absolute bullshit. That. But, Phil, at the same time, do you believe that the government, if say you're working a full-time job but you only make so much money and it's a poverty level, do you believe that we as a government should step in and help out that individual? Yes. Okay, so at that time, you are believing that we should subsidize employment. No, I believe we should subsidize no, because you don't believe Because you don't believe in minimum wage. No. So, so everybody should have to struggle for that, but at the same time, if the person isn't making such a level that they can rise out of poverty, the government should step in and subsidize them. Uh, well, they should. There should be help, but it should be uh, limited. And, and that's you know, what's minimum wage. If you're no, working a full-time job, you should not be able to qualify for any type of subsidy. Well, uh, that's not true. Listen, I want to say something, Phil. You, you're, you're the Republicans for years have had this whole idea. Uh, well, if we do check, away with check. minimum wage, what? Who went check? check? Huh? Uh, Rob. Oh, Rob. Oh, okay. I'm having a problem with my board here. Hang on. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, uh, what was the, where was I? Um, we talking about minimum wage. Yeah, you know? minimum wage. That, you know that. Oh, if we do away with the minimum wage, people will do right by their employees, and they will compete <laughs> against each other. And it's such bullshit because American businesses are so fucking greedy. They'll pay the least amount of money they can pay, and that's it. Yeah. Plain, Plain and simple. Help. They'll pay what they have to pay, and that what they have to pay will go up as competition for jobs increase. But that's, you, that's such bullshit. Well, you're assuming though, there's going to be a competition for jobs, Phil. You're assuming that all those jobs are going to come flooding back into America, and everybody's going to be. The only way you're going to compete for jobs is if there are less jobs. If that was the case, then having well, a minimum well, wage wouldn't have any effect on that whatsoever. Because here's a minimum wage, but we still have to compete for all these jobs. No, 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 so no, we no. have to pay there's, people more than the minimum wage. Right. If there's more jobs than people, the the, the price so the how does, goes up. How does minimum wage have anything to do with that? It's a minimum wage was originally there for you know kids to work at McDonald's, not not for adults to live on. I don't want any when adult a, to live when on. When an adult can't get any other job besides McDonald's, there should be some type of minimum wage Jason, so the government does not have to subsidize that employment. Jason, that's because there are no jobs left after Obama created uh, Walmart and McDonald's as the as the best employers in town. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think it was Obama that, I don't started, think, no, that no. started qualifying McDonald's as manufacturing. I think, yeah. that was I, think you're, I think that is just that what you just did. What you just w. did was alternative reality. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't exist. You're wrong, Phil. He never no. said that. You can't have just where did, where did you get where did you get that piece of information from that one of your results. non fake news sources? The results of his actions. Wait a minute, uh, Josh. Is there any truth to what Phil just said about Obama uh, t saying that what Walmart was what? 
Walmart and McDonald's are the employers uh, du jour because there are no jobs left. They've all been shipped out of this country. That happened under Bush and part of Clinton, too. It has a lot to do with it, it has a lot to do with all international big business, big business who put how many. When I was a kid, we had 900 stores lined up all in these little strip malls and everybody owned the hardware store or a five and dime or the local candy okay, store. You just got it right, Rob. And, Absolutely. And, and everybody made a living. But right. today you run uh, into yeah. a, a Kmart and a Walmart and a, any Mart to try to buy something, and right. nobody could work. And, and so on top all of these that, jobs are gone. Rob, here's the crux of it. Mom and Pop used to own a grocery store. Today they're bagging groceries for a grocery chain. And you okay. wonder why you need a minimum wage. There was an interesting, uh, interesting book I read called The Big Box Swindle. And, uh, and and what happens is these big boxes move in, uh, then little stores congregate around the big box to kind of feed off of them. Uh, then the big box, after about 10 or 15 years, because these buildings that they built aren't made to last more than 10 or 15 years, and they leave a blight, and then they and go, they to, go the to the other, other side. side. Of them. And... Uh, uh, it's it's and what they do is the money instead of staying in the neighborhood is now going to Atlanta in the case of Home Depot or uh, Arkansas in the case of Walmart. Uh, they're building these mega parking lots that. Uh, get uh, what's oil a, what's the point you're trying to make here, Phil? What I'm saying is is that uh, Rob is right about uh, you know uh, there used to be uh, individual entrepreneurs yeah, but, and their but, jobs but, have been taken away. Yeah, but that's gone. So That's not going to come back. Wage. It's not going to gonna come back. You no. have to protect people and give them a salary. No, if, they're only, if their only way to go to work is at McDonald's, somebody better pay them so they could raise their families. And so Chinese, that I don't have to pay to raise their family. If a Chinese right. hammer costs the same as an American-made hammer because they weren't manipulating their currency, uh, and you walked into a store, you could have a mom-and-pop store that sells a good quality American hammer, and you don't have to but, go but to that, Home That's still can. bullshit, Phil. That's, that's still bullshit, because even if you have an American hammer, and I am Home Depot, and I'm going to buy 100,000 of your hammers, you're going to give me a better price than this mom and hold, pop. Hold on, a, hold on a second. Renee has been writing in on our chat oh, room, oh, and I didn't look at the chat. I, you know, Renee, calling. I really wish you. Hi, Renee. I, I really wish you would call because with remarks like this, I, they would be wonderful on the air. She, she I, says, "We have, we have one well, more space." Can I? Can I finish, Phil? Please. Uh, I was helping. You know, I mean, you monopolize this show enough as it is already. Oh, you asked me. Okay. No, I didn't Maybe ask you. Like I'm trying to read what Renee point. said. And you keep interrupting. Wait, what? You can't blame Trump because no one wants to work for him. He's an asshole, and who wants to work for an asshole? Immigrants. That's why his, <laughs> uh, you know, the was it a first lady, you know, uh, Michelle Obama said, my job's being taken over by an immigrant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was there another one where uh, he forced the black people and made them homeless? Uh, he, uh, by the way, he, let me read a couple of these. Andrew H. Smith says, most people get their news from their own biased Facebook feeds. Social yeah. media has empowered a giant heap of ignorant people and given them a voice and, in their minds, a new power. You're absolutely right, uh, yeah, uh, Andrew. Is. You're absolutely right about that. Uh, let me see here. So, you know, what, you know, we can sit here griping all night long. What's it going to do? It's not going to change anything. How do we change stuff, Josh? Do we get active? What do we do? I guess the only recourse that you have is to work and vote. You know, say mm -hmm. your piece and vote. That's all you can do. Tim, what do, what do we do? Well, I, I think we for the next topic should be universal basic income, which is being tried out in Canada and about six or seven mm -hmm. other countries. How about you, Mark? How do you feel about it? Voted it down. Well, since we were talking about Jackie Coogan, <laughs> do what Uncle Fester says, shoot him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you no, know, ser seriously, I'm with Josh on this one. It's like, yeah, vote him out of office. That's all we can do. That's all we can it, do. That universal thing, it just got voted down in Switzerland where they wanted to give a universal income to all Swiss citizens, and they actually voted it down. Because they yeah, but the they got to plan something for when everything's automated. In 10 years, you won't be able to drive a car. 
Yeah. Jason, any go. last words? Or, or, or J- a truck. Jason, any last words tonight? Hey, I just, uh, I forget the saying, but what is it about the Liberty Tree that Jefferson said? That's what we should do. Yeah. Uh, what a patriot. Tony, Tony, any thoughts? You know what? I'm going to just, I'm going to say vote, but I'm going to say stay close to the roots of the neighborhood, the area where you live in, the assemblymen, the, the small people. Yeah. Because I think yeah. really that's the only thing. Phil, I'm not going to gonna ask you what we can do because you're the problem. Vote for Trump. Huh? Vote for Trump. Hey, that's it for the week, and that's it for a great show. Uh, Thank you all. I've enjoyed it. Uh, uh, Phil, Mark, Josh, uh, Tim, uh, Rob, Jason, Tony, and, of course, uh, Bob out there who's up on a hill in Texas, and also to Scott Boddicker, who also had to leave us because he lost his camera. Uh, Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Uh, let me see here. Let me just uh, change me to the camera. Hold on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, wow, I've got a lot of things to turn off at the same time, so please excuse me. Um, let me <laughs> thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, same time, same station. No, that's not what I... Let me back off here. I'm, there's so many things. I have to turn off two things at the same time. Let me thank you all for joining us and remind you that The Intersection is next, followed by Connections, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Same time, same station in life. That's it. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.